Hey everyone, welcome to Authekis. I'm Pankaj Rai and in this video, I'm going to talk about the features of constraint layout. In my previous tutorials on constraint layout, I mentioned about why should you use constraint layout, the optimization that you get when you use constraint layout. Also, a few other features like relative positioning, chain, guidelines, group, barrier, flow, and states. In this video, let's talk about a few more features of constraint layout. So let's start with the circular positioning. Circular positioning is a concept where you can align one view with respect to certain radius and angle. Uh, let me show this. Say that I have two material buttons and I want one to be aligned based on certain radius and angle. Then how should I do that? So let me give this idea as BT center and text as center. Also, let me give this as BT move text as move because this view will move and this BT center will remain at its fixed position. So let me bring it to the center of the screen. Top to the top, bottom to the bottom parent, start at the start of parent and and to the end of parent. So now I have this view at the center of the screen. And I want this button, BT move, to be aligned based on certain radius and angle with respect to this button, BT center. So how should I do that? For that, I have to specify for circle and I need to give the ID. So I've given the ID as BT center. The reason why it is overlapping here is because it doesn't understand about the radius, that what should be the radius given from the center of this view to the center of this view. By default, it is zero and that's why it is overlapping with this view. So let me give you a radius say 120 dp. Now you could see this. The moment I've given it, it has pushed this view towards the upside. That's nothing but an angle of zero degree, which is the default one. Now say, I don't want this view to be at the zero degree angle based on this center view. From this center view, I want this to get aligned towards say right side 45 degree. So I could say angle is 45 degree. So you can specify any value ranging from zero to 360. And this is a really useful concept if you want to have say image view and then text view or say a, a divider and you want that image view to come at the center of that dividers, all sort of things you can do with circular positioning. So that was about circular positioning. Now let me talk about the dimensions. So how often do you feel a need where you could specify the width or height in terms of percentage? Like for example, this is one of the most common design which you might have seen in many of the Android application where you have certain content at the center and at the bottom you have a button where you specify margin start and margin end. So this kind of design is really common where the overall objective is not to occupy the full width, but to leave certain space at the left and right side. But problem with this kind of view is like the moment it goes from various types of screen, like from tablet to mobile, four inch, five inch, six inch landscape to portrait mode, the hard coded value of 16 dp. That's not going to auto adjust these views. And that's the place where it may look quite weird. So another approach is to maintain different diamonds.xml. And from that diamond.xml, get the values here. But how about if you could avoid all such things? And you can do this. So you can specify the width or height in terms of percentage. For that, the easiest way is switch to zero dp, which means match constraint and then define the width in terms of percentage or height in terms of percentage by giving height as the zero dp. Now, because it's 
match constraint so give the constraint properly start to the start of parent and end to the end of parent and now you could see this you have a proper spacing say it's 90 percent now if i switch from between landscape to portrait mode it really doesn't matter it understands how to scale itself and how to auto adjust itself in all the screens now what do this one is going to do is that this button will occupy the 90% of the screen and will leave the 10% so not just this you can also specify the height say height percentage i'm saying is 0.5 So now in all screen, it will occupy the height as 50% and width as 90%. This is really useful if you want to make a responsive UI. Okay, now let's switch to our uh, setting the dimensions based on ratios. So let me do one thing to this view itself. Let me make this as like match and then wrap. Let me remove this percentage. And now say instead of giving this width and height as certain values, if I want this in terms of ratios, like one is to two, one is to one, then how can I do that? So that you can do by giving ratios, one is to one. Now what it means is that the width and height will be equal here as it's one is to one but it will work only and only when you specify either width or height as zero dp. Now you could say this, the width and height, they both are same. And you can change these values. Like here you could see this. The height is twice than the width. And you can change these things like you can specify height first and then width. The default one is width is to height, but you can change this by giving h comma. Then this is the height. And this is the width. So width should be twice than the height. Or even you can give like width, but this is the default one. This is good if you want to toggle between the width and height, the initial one. The default one is width colon height. But if you want to specify like height column width, then you can do like h comma your values. One is to two, two is to four, 19 is to eight, any sort of values you can specify here. But one thing to remember, one of them, either width or height should be zero dp, but not both of them. Like if I give both of them as zero dp, then that's not going to work. So give only one as zero dp. That's it in this video. I hope this might be helpful for you to understand about the features offered by Constant Layout. And I'm really certain that if you have seen those three videos where I've started from why should you use Constant Layout till this video, then you can use Constant Layout in your production application with a very high confidence. So that's it in this video. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.